All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Lechakodash. Give honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, you now, I just saw this video that the other brother had put up, GMS Sharma. Okay, um, I guess it was on a different brother's page, but you know, basically going into these women, all right, and their their whoredom, okay, and and the shamelessness of these women. But guess what, man? Okay, most high is about to, most high is about to humble a lot of these women, and some of them aren't even gonna get the chance to 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 make it at all. Okay, you know, and this goes out to to those that are being wicked. Okay, not to not to all women out there, but those that are being wicked. Okay, if you if if you're not if you're not guilty of this wickedness right here, then you know what I mean still learn from it. Okay, because you have a lot of women these days that are proud as hell. Matter of fact, I'll start with that man. Okay, they're proud as hell because Esau put them on a pedestal, and you got uh, simple-minded um, bird brains that like to um, they like to uphold them up there, you know. So this is Isaiah chapter three verse twelve. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. See, O oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. All right, because right now we're in captivity, but you have women. Which the most had didn't create women to be to be above a man, okay? Because he didn't the, the the design he gave men is different from the design he gave women. Men are the ones who are supposed to take control, lead the road. Women are supposed to be in the passenger seat. So if you put a woman in the driver's seat, okay, figuratively speaking or metaphorically speaking, you are gonna get into a car accident or you are gonna get lost, okay? Because then she's not in her role. She's not she's not uh, uh, playing the role of of a woman. Okay, but we focusing on on whoredom, man. Okay, and and because because they rule over them, which is why <clears throat> BS like this is allowed. Okay, slut walks and all this madness. So I'm gonna play the video because there's a chick, there's a a, a, um, a chick in there that says some some very incorrect things, you know, thinking she and that's that's man the pride of these women, bro, the pride. All right, I'll get another one. Micah 7 verse 10. Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her. What's she going to see? She's going to see the judgment. Okay? And shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is Yahweh thy power? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trotted down as the mire of the streets. All right? Because, look, rape is going to be a, a big thing in Jacob's trouble, man. A lot of women are going to get raped, and men too, and children. Okay, because you got a lot of sick people out there, man, who the only thing standing between them and, and, and raping a woman is the law, all right, or society, okay, because <clears throat> now women have that quote-unquote power of being able to play games and, oh, oh, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't work for it, I ain't going to give it to him and all that. In that day, it ain't going to be, you ain't going to have an option of giving it to them. Dudes are just going to be taking it. They ain't asking. They ain't playing games. They're just taking it because who's going to stop them? That's in their mind. You know, and the question is, who's going to protect you women? Especially, look, you hoes, man, you like to show your body and all that stuff. All you're doing is putting a target on your back. So what happens when I hell breaks loose, man? Dudes already know who they're looking for. You know, and frankly, it's just disgusting, but I'll play it real quick. But we're not dealing with white privilege. We're dealing with sluts today. It's about sluts. We have some sluts. Okay. Hi, how you doing? I'm fine, Jesse. What's your name? Sam. Sam. And are you a slut, Sam? Okay. Jesse. <sighs> yes. We are all sluts. You're a slut. All these dudes behind you are sluts. Your cameraman's a slut. So so she's she said she's a slut. But then later on in the video she's gonna say no, she's not dressed like a slut. She's gonna say everybody's a slut, which you're gonna hear her say it, but then she's gonna say her mom's not a slut. You know? Unstable, man. Okay, they, they don't know nothing, man. Your PA is a slut, and your mic's a slut. And what made you a slut? Because I own my body. My body is not a political playground. It's not a place for legislation. It's mine, and it's my future. And How old are you? Grown. 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 And so, so you sleep around with a lot of men. No, actually, I'm a virgin. So, so this dumb hole, right? This this stupid retarded hole, which let me let me let's look up the word slut.
Hmm. A woman who has many casual sex partners. But wait, hold on. She said she was a slut. But she's a virgin? Oh, okay. You're a virgin? Yeah. So you're not a slut? Yes, you can be a slut. Because a slut is not what you made it, Jesse. A slut is what I made it. Well, I mean, according to Google, a slut is a hoe. I mean, a woman who has many sexual partners. And it's funny because these women are written over in the scriptures, man. Okay? Which, uh, I believe in the video, the brother put it up, but I'll get it again. All right? Because the scriptures did talk about it, man. This is, um, Sirach, chapter 26, verse 12. Um, matter of fact, I think I'll start at 9. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and her eyelids, which is why they put on all that extra makeup. And you can tell when you when a, a hoe is a hoe. You know, just by the way she dresses, she acts. It says, if thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly. And that goes for your woman too. Lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. And that's how you end up with shit like this. No discipline. No correct upbringing. Okay? So, um, going on, it says, uh, she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he hath found a fountain. Meaning she gonna blow rocks, she gonna get on her knees. All right, and she's she's gonna she's gonna she's gonna be you know what I mean partaking in oral activity, all right, with many dudes. Okay, because she's a hoe, and drink of every water near her. See, what's the definition? A woman who has many casual sex partners. All right, so it says um, by every hedge she will will she sit down, and open her quiver against every arrow. Which is a, a metaphor for opening up those legs to every every rod, all right? Okay, it's, um, yeah. So basically, that's that's the main point right there, man. And hey, man, it's sad that you got young. She, you gonna ask her? He gonna ask her how old she is? You gonna talk about I'm grown? You know, this is not accepted in Israel, man. The Most High commanded us Deuteronomy twenty three verse seventeen: There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. But what do you see going on? Sodom and Gomorrah two point all right, that's what you see going on, man. These women are hoes and sluts, and nobody tells them shit, you know. And when we get at them, we're the villains. Nah, okay. The Most High is gonna bring that judgment, man. And that's why you want to listen. You want to be a slut. You, you, they love being sluts, right? Listen, go be a slut, and no hell, when no hell is breaking loose, man. Don't don't cover up. Dress just like that and walk in the streets, and see if you're not gonna get gang raped and 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 and, and killed. Okay, that's what's gonna be happening, man. Because she's not, she's not gonna be people like women like her are not gonna be running their mouths in that day, okay? Because then, what do you, what, what are you gonna do when somebody socks you in the mouth? You gonna call nine one one? Oh wait, they don't exist anymore. You see, most of is gonna humble a lot of these women, man. It's a boss. But there's a point I wanted to address in here, so. Let me keep playing it. Getting money, taking the mic, turning life around, taking over Hollywood. So you are still a virgin, but yet you call yourself a slut. It wouldn't matter. I'm saying it doesn't matter if I'm a virgin. It doesn't matter what a woman's sexual history is. A slut is just a word that you and your fellow penises made. Hey, she got that vibe. But really, she got demons on her. Okay, she got that vibe of that proud, proud nigga woman spirit, you know? Where they want to, they they talk, moving their head, moving their hands, talking fast, like they like they're saying something smart. Wait, you ain't you ain't saying nothing, man. You just spewing bullshit. You spewing madness over and over again, trying to sound sophisticated and educated and all this extra stuff. Listen, man, just shut up and go sit down somewhere, right? Okay, here it is. We're 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 we're, we're warning, prophesying about the hell that's about to break loose on this place, the coming of our Messiah, how shy, and you got you got things like this going on, man. So when the Lord brings a righteous society, what do you think has to happen to all this wickedness? All right, they're gonna be destroyed. The Most High is sending is sending hoes onto the chariot, man. You're not going on a chariot as a hoe. Given you're gonna have people who repent, but you're not going on a chariot as a hoe. Talking about uh, taking the mic, taking control, while well, you're gonna be popping champagne and and twerking on the chariot. It's a disgrace, man. It's a disgrace that we're supposed to be the, the, the children of the highest, okay, above these heathens, shown as an example of what the children of the Lord look like, and this the madness that our people are doing, man. And you think the Most High is happy with this? And the, the, few, the thing that infuriates me is the bullshit she says after this, man. A your mama's a 
slut. Your grandma's a slut. Everybody. Is your mother a slut? No, but yours is. So hold up. She just said everybody's a slut. But her mom is not a slut. <laughs> Your mother's not a slut? No. But you said every woman's a slut. Everybody. Why your mother's not a slut? You are a slut. Not my mother in particular is not a slut, but a slut is... You see, she's not even making any sense. Everybody's a slut, yep. But your mother's not a slut, nope. But everybody's a slut, yep. How does... You, you know, unstable in the mind, man. It's a word for anybody who's owning their sexuality, turning up, and not letting Jesse twist their answers around. Hey, listen, man. I'm, I, I'm into women, you know? I own that. I'm into women. I'm not a slut, <laughs> you know. So, so you know, what I mean, these. If you really listen to the BS they say, man, okay. When 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 people like you end up in a FEMA camp and they get their head shaved bald, okay, all right, and they getting tortured and raped and, and hurt over there, then we're gonna we're gonna see if she's gonna give them some 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 slut motivation in there. <laughs> so let me ask. I noticed you. Are you dressed slutty today? No. I'm dressed like a woman. What made you decide to come out look? Oh well, the scriptures say you're supposed to dress in modest apparel. All right, let's look up what modest apparel looks like. Look at that! Look at that! Modest apparel, right? So let's do a, a comparison. Lock it. Let me see if I could join the tabs. Okay. Let's, let's see. Let's look up the definition. So, the term modest fashion refers to a fashion trend of wearing less skin revealing clothes. Alright? It says, um,. Beyond the various, uh, various interpretations, all agree on the idea that modest fashion means loose clothing, not tight all around your body, comfortable dressing, and covering of the body, okay? No, 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 not according to personal comfort, okay, but according to covering up, man, okay? See, they like to, they like to, going back to Isaiah, what, uh, um, 3 and 12, they, they want to, well, put the woman on the pedestal. Look, man, like them, them Arab, them Arab women, they be dressing. That's modest apparel, man. Okay, that's modest apparel. Now look at this. Come like this. You look like a slut. What made you do it? You look like a slut. What made you dress? What made you? Look at that. You dress like this. No, just answer that question. Question. What made you? Dress? I dress like this because I can. Dress. What made you dress? What made you dress like this? No, just answer that question. What made you? Dress? I dress. You think the women in Israel were dressing like this, man? They would have been. They would have been put to death. Just like this, because I can dress whatever I want to. Period. But what made you dress like this? Let me ask you. Do you oh, believe? You stripes, sir. Let me ask you. Do you believe in God? Yes, Jesse. I believe what, in God. Would God want you to be a slut? God would want me to be whatever I want to be. No, that is not correct. God will want you to follow His law, statutes, and commandments because that's the law. That's the covenant we made with Him. All right. Uh, when we got out of Egypt, man. And that's why we're going through the curses now. Okay? Yeah, would he want you to be a slut? He would want me to be whatever I want to be. How about a slut? Whatever I want to be. And why would he want... Oh, look, that's beautiful. Job 13 and 7. Will you speak wickedly for the Most High and talk deceit deceitfully for him? Because that's what she's doing. <laughs> <clears throat> you to be a slut. He would want me to be whatever I want to be because God believes in choice. Whoa. God believes in choice. Now, now, hold up. Hold on a second. Let's get this real quick. Romans the ninth chapter. Let me hold. Oh, man. Let's see this part up. Lock it. Give me one second. Let me just see if I can find this piece ever quickly. Let 
Here it is. Bloody hell, bless your mill shot. Alright, Judges 21 and 21. Alright, so first let's get this. This is Romans chapter 9, verse uh, verse 11. It says, for the children... Alright, let me start at, you of, uh, at uh, verse 10. And not only this, but when Rebecca had also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, because Isaac's wife was, was Rebecca. Okay, and that's where you get Jacob and Esau. So it says, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil. So they haven't done anything. No choices were made. Okay, that the purpose of the Most High according to election might stand, not of works, not of your choice, but of him that calleth. So, really, you know what I mean? She's right in a sense. Most I believes in choice. And he believes in his choice. Not yours, man. You don't get a choice, man. What the most High's choice is, is what happens. His word is what stands, man. Okay? So, it says, not of work. So, don't, it was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So, did Esau have a choice? You know? Oh, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the most high? God forbid. See, for he saith unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So, so did Esau have a choice? No. Because it says, uh, 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 but of him that calleth, man, the Most High is the one who decided. So ain't no free will, I, oh, oh, the Most High gave me a choice to go be a slut, so I'm going to be a slut. He told you in, in Deuteronomy, he told us, we ain't supposed to have no whores. So that's, that's a rule, that's a law that you're not supposed to break. So where's your choice in that? Hey, man, this is out of control. Okay. Um, uh, let's see if I can find. Yep, Roman, not, Romans 9, verse 19. It says, um, Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he hardeneth. Thou wilt say unto me, thou wilt say then unto me, why doth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? See, what the Most High wills, nobody can resist, man. This is Job 33, verse 16, verse 15. In a vision, in, in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, and slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men, and sealeth their instruction, that he may withdraw man from his purpose, and high pride from man. Okay? So what the most high tells you to do is what you do, man. Ain't no, ain't no, he, 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 he most high believes in choice. Listen, you don't know anything, man. And that's why a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of these women, the most high is going to put the spirit on brothers to reject a lot of these, these hoes in the time of, of Jacob's trouble because they're going to be coming up to you on some acting like they're all innocent and they don't know what's going on. No, 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 no. Understand that even the women that are going to be uh, 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 saved in the time of uh, uh, Isaiah 4 and 1, in the time of Jacob's trouble, are going to be those that the Lord uh, puts the spirit on brothers to, to take, you know? All right? Not no ratchet skank hoes, man. And you should know that, Jesse. That's why you're allowed to wear this lame-ass shirt. See? And you should know that. Now, hold on. Let's get a, a, another precept. Okay. All right, this is Judges 21, verse 19. It says, Then they said, Behold, there is a feast of the Lord in Shiloh, yearly in a place which is on the north side of Bethel, on the east side of the highway that goeth up from Bethel to Shechem, and on the south of Lebanon. Or Leb Lebanon. Therefore they commanded the children of Benjamin, which are the, the, the West Indians, the, the uh, so-called Jamaicans, saying, Go and lie in wait in the vineyards. In the bushes, all right? So go wait up in there <laughs> and see and behold. If the daughters of Shiloh come out to dance in dances, then come ye out of the vineyards and catch you every man his wife of the daughters of Shiloh and go to the land of Benjamin. Because the, uh, uh, um, which you can read up on it, but because the Benjamites, all right, basically they, they, um, they, they raped the man's concubine till death, all right? 
uh, the, the other nations, all right, the, the other tribes, Shalakia, the, the other tribes, they didn't want to uh, deal with Benjamin. They didn't want to give their, their daughters uh, up to Benjamin to marry anymore, or the Benjamites, okay? So the, the, they were told, basically, you know what? Go go hide in the bushes, all right? And when the daughters of Shiloh come to dance, you pop out on them, and you you, you basically take, take the woman you want, okay? So now the question is, to this hoe right here, since you know so much, did those women have a choice? When they were getting grabbed up by them, by them fast, strong Benjamites, man, did they have a choice? <laughs> but the Lord was with it. It says, "And it shall be when their fathers, when their fathers or their brethren come unto us to complain, that we shall say unto them, Be favorable unto them for our sakes, because we reserve not to each man his wife, um, in the war, for ye did not give unto them at this time that ye should be guilty." And the children of Benjamin did so and took them wives, according to their number of them that danced, whom they caught. And they went and returned onto the inheritance and repaired the cities and dwelt in them. So that's it. Just like that, they popped out of the bushes on them and they took them. Okay? That was back in ancient, in ancient, uh, 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 back in the ancient world, man. But the question is, did, they, did those women have a choice back then? Hey, man, this place... This place is done, okay? This place is done. The Most High is going to bring heavy judgment upon this place, man. I'm not going to play the full video. I'm not going to. I'm just going to end it here, okay? Um, If you want to see, watch, you can go to this brother's page right here, GMS Sharmoth, all right? It's going to be on there. You know, brothers can watch the whole clip, man. But this place is done, man. And a lot of these women are going to be getting raped, killed, and mercilessly destroyed in that day, man. The Most High is going to bring heavy judgment, Okay? So, Lord willing, this is edifying to the elect. I want to give all praises to you. How about Shimei Oshai? Shalom.